Good evening to you both. A U.S. official says Russia has fired more than 600 missiles within Ukraine. Congress, as you just mentioned, considering a ban on Russian oil in the U.S. Civilians, meanwhile, in Ukraine continue to die. A warning. Some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. The New York Times journalist who shot this now viral horrific photo says she witnessed the Russian military bracket their mortars in the path of fleeing families, killing children. On this 12th day of war, more are dying. This preschool in Kharkiv is burning. At least one and a half million Ukrainians fleeing. This 37-year-old mother says, I can't understand why our children are dying. In the south, where the Russians surrounded Maripol, trapped Ukrainian citizens with no power or water as temps hit freezing. While the Kremlin proposed a potential ceasefire here for a third time Monday, previous ceasefires were violated. Stop these attacks immediately. Let the food and medicine in. Let the people out. Ukrainian President Zelensky releasing a new video. He is staying till the end. And again, he asked for EU membership in a no-fly zone, or at least planes to fight. The White House responding, Poland might be sending Soviet aeroplanes. The U.S. could provide F-16s to Poland to make up for their loss in fleet. But it's a delicate balance. There are a number of challenging practical questions, including how the planes would actually be transferred from Poland to Ukraine, right? So are they going to fly? Where will they depart from? Where will they land? Among the terror, humanity. Polish mothers left strollers for arriving Ukrainian refugees. This father stayed strong as he said goodbye indefinitely to his child. <laughs> On Sunday, 4,600 Russians were arrested for protesting the war. More Ukrainians are coming up and will arrive. And the mayor of Kyiv posted these images from a maternity ward. Life goes on. So, Christina, there was a third round of talks today. What happened? Well, sure. A Ukrainian delegation says there was some progress on the issue of humanitarian corridors. Previously, Russia had allowed refugees out of Ukraine through a path that led into Russia, which obviously is the last place these refugees want to go. Russia has agreed to a ceasefire in five Ukrainian cities starting at 11 p.m. tonight, our time, to open up some of these humanitarian corridors. We will see if that holds. We are hearing there's going to be another round of talks on Thursday. Now, coming up at 6, the hacker group Anonymous is continuing their war against Russia, and a father does his best to make life resemble some sort of normalcy for his children in their war-torn country. Pedro and Cher. Christina.